So I'm in my second week in my new place. Overwhelming and exciting and just gorgeous. I've had my best friends over for dinner. I've had my mum over for dinner. I've been unpacking and organising and finding places for all my stuff. Um, just settling into my new space really. The last couple of days I've managed to like build back up some of my good routines that I was really excited to get back into once I moved and just like really enjoying my space more and like yeah there's so much more that I need to do I really need to organize my wardrobe which I'm gonna do with you guys but like also to just spend some evenings just like watching a movie or like spending a long time cooking something or reading in bed rather than just always like lights on like sorting through and cleaning and whatever i got my bike fixed i've been cycling everywhere and i've got a new pilates studio reform core that i'm going to in islington that is so nice and just starting to feel like this is gonna be my life now god that sounds so cheesy but just like yeah when you move it is a new lifestyle and you kind of want to take that opportunity to like implement some positive changes in your life. Much to do still, which is what this video is going to be, just getting on top of stuff. I'm going to create a little like hair and makeup area over there in my room and organise this wardrobe behind me. So another organising video and just settling in and maybe a cheeky wardrobe tour as well if I have time to go through some of my clothes. One of the things I really wanted to get back into after I moved was cycling and I was line biking a lot before but it's kind of expensive and like it is good because you don't have to like like if you go meet someone at the pub and then you end up going out you don't have to like bring your bike out and stuff but I remembered I do actually have a bike that my mum gave me ages ago so <laughs> it's been sat outside of the garden at my old place for like literally two years um, so it's in really bad nick, so I'm going to go take it and get it fixed and then I'll have my own little bike to cycle around in. Part of moving house and settling in is finding new like organisational systems and places for everything. One thing I've realised is I have a lot of stuff, but that's okay because I have space for it in my new place. And I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this cabinet. And I was thinking that um, it would be a cute little like hair and makeup area. I've got a lot of like hair tools and rollers and all that stuff. I found all these burly bars that my bio gets me. I'm obsessed with baskets like this. I use them literally for everything. Um, and I'm gonna put all my main makeup in here. My stressful situation is that this is makeup, this is makeup. How cute is that? This is makeup. And then this is also makeup. But I'm gonna organize into like stuff, that, like my everyday stuff, I think. But I do love coming up with um, organisational systems. I find it so satisfying. I do think in another life, if I wasn't like running my own brand, I would, um, I'd be like a PA and I'd organise people's wardrobes as well. And I would love that. I got this um, pouch. Anya Heinmarsh used to do, um, like the wash bags for BA first class and business class and I just got this one on Vinted and it's so cute and it's a really good makeup shape because it just unzips so you can like see everything that's in it really easily. Okay I've put all my main makeup in here I think that looks nice and organized that's makeup I've got more room, interestingly. I, I I definitely should use this space for something else. Anyway, then I've got my like hair kit for like slick backs and like hairstyles, which is very important to me. I found this little bowl so I can keep all my hair ties in there. Get this really cute clip that my bio found me. Like literally all my stuff from my wardrobe 
is stuff that my buyer found me. Which is cheeky because like I'm those things are supposed to be for me to sell on my Depop, but Okay, progress update. So I've got my main hair dryer and my curlers there, my little bowl of hair ties. Then I've got the makeup I use often. Random extra makeup and eyeshadow palettes. Then I've got like my slip back stuff and my blow dry stuff. I use this on blow dries, it's so good. My rollers and then my like air wrap, which I don't really use that much. So I just got to figure out what to do here now. I've got this mirror that is good for makeup and that, oh, that fits nicely there. Then I've got this mirror with this beautiful card from my grandma, which I love, and this naked woman. And then I've also got this friend that my, this um, painting that my friend from school did, which I think would look cool there as well. We are definitely getting there. It needed something on the counter, so I just put that there. And then I need to figure out that whole situation. But we are getting there for sure. I love the greens together with like the pinks of my room. But I would like to put my perfumes on this because I think they just look cute. Oh, sorry, I'm not even like talking to the camera. I'm wearing a swimsuit underneath this because I'm going to Um I'm a perfume girl and I've been thinking about doing a video on like my perfume guide but i don't know if that's actually something people want to watch so let me know if you're interested but my favorite perfume is well the one i was wearing last night is in my bag which is le labo matcha which i love jazz club margella is like a real classic for me i love doson from diptyque i think those are like my favorite oh and then and then and then baccarat rouge which i've almost run out of but i love this one so much it's so expensive would it be completely insane of me to organize my perfumes by season or day and night taking a break to go swimming i go swimming every weekend and actually this week i went in the week as well it's my chaotic outfit i'm loving capris and Ugg at the moment and this is my new swimming bag slash Pilates bag, but yeah, taking a break, ignore this mess, and we'll be back soon to get back on it. It's Sunday, lunchtime. I've been cleaning all morning. I actually love cleaning and organizing so much, so I'm gonna be doing it every two weeks. And today is deep clean day. I've done all of downstairs, the kitchen and the living room. And it just feels so good. You know, when you like clean your place and then you light a candle, it's just so nice. So we're gonna do upstairs, bathroom, bedroom, and then we're gonna tackle the wardrobe guys because I've hung everything up, apart from some because I ran out of panniers, but now I need to organize it and make a little system. So excited for that. So let's get cleaning. Okay, we're coming to this very soon. But first, let's do a bathroom clean. Cleaning products haul. No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna go through. But what I will say is the best, 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 best. Surface spray is this method one. And then I also do a bathroom one that's really nice. It's like eucalyptus. <laughs>
Oh my god, that was a success. That was fun. <laughs> I love cleaning so much. I've just been blasting Beyonce's new album and then um, I finished it so then I was listening to Britney. And I wouldn't say that I'm a Beyonce fan because I, as in like, I really like her music, but I wouldn't say I'm like a Beyonce fan because I feel like the bar is set very high for like how much people love her music. But I really like that album. This wardrobe is a big question mark for me because I've got my whole wardrobe in the other room. There's like a whole room. So I was like, what do I put in here? And I also have a chest of drawers. I've been trying to figure it out, but I think I've got a good-ish system going. So I've got these from Moody. I've always had them. They're so good. They're great for storing things. So this one's got towels in. And honestly, having like, um, like back stock, essentially of like towels and sheets just makes me feel like i'm staying in a hotel i love it so this one is the sheets one and then i've got my like extra quilt because right now i've got this like nice linen-y bedspread and linen sheets but i've got like a thicker bedspread and then i'm putting my gym wear in here i might i might fill this whole thing with these because i feel like that would look really cute and then in this side Maybe you'll see it in the new view. So in this side, this is empty at the moment, empty-ish, but I'm gonna put like trackies and comfy t-shirts and then I've hung up my hoodies here. Um, Cause I have so many hoodies and it's like, do I wear them that much? I wear them quite a lot, but mostly at home. But I've definitely went through my like hype beast era of wearing like hoodies and like supreme trackies. This is like six years ago, but still. This is my stash of travel minis. Whenever I go anywhere that has them, I take all of them. And I once stayed at a hotel that had Le Labo. This was in Barbados, Le Labo, like minis. So I've got body lotions, which are really good for like when I go swimming and like to the gym and stuff. And then I've kept, whenever I buy expensive shoes, naming no names, Kiko Kostadinoff, then I'll always keep the boxes just in case I decide to sell them. And then I've got all the dust bags from like designer shoes and bags and just literally anything that comes with a dust bag, I'll keep it because it's so useful for like putting your underwear in and your swimwear when you go on holiday or like, to be honest, that's the main reason I use them, but they're so useful. Um, I keep my swim, this is my swim pouch. I got this in South Africa and it's so good because it's like plastic, so it's waterproof. A swimming costume. My Pilates socks, because this is like gym or swim, flip flops, and then like toiletries. So I can just grab this and go if I'm going swimming. Um, I'm, I don't know if I've spoken about this yet, but I'm obsessed with swimming. Like recently, I definitely have gotten better at listening to my body of like, if I don't feel like working out, like I won't go and work out for the sake of it. But Recently, I've been really craving like a good exercise routine and moving my body. So I'm really into cycling and then I'm going swimming once a week and then I'm doing Pilates at Reform Core and I'm trying to go to the gym as well. I quit my old Pilates membership because it was a bit expensive and now I'm just trying to do like a bunch of other things. And honestly, like because I was paying per month to have unlimited reformer classes, I like felt a bit reluctant to spend money on other forms of exercise because I was like, I'm already paying that. But now I've got this freedom to like spend a five on swimming or like yesterday, I'm definitely in my wholesome era. Last night me and my boyfriend, we just went climbing like and then cooked dinner and watched a rom-com. So perfect. Like I'm still going out and stuff, but also loving that kind of Saturday night too. Yeah, I'm really enjoying having that like freedom to do different things. And I also think it makes me appreciate reformer so much more because I've been doing reformer for like four or five years probably five or six years now and when you go like three times a week for like so many years obviously there was lockdown in the middle of it but like I feel like I don't I wasn't appreciating it as much I want to like appreciate it and like really be in the moment when I'm there rather than being like oh I can't be able to go so also I find keep having different forms of exercise makes me appreciate each and every one and not get bored as well Okay, now it's finally time. We've been building up to this moment to do the wardrobe. I'm not gonna lie, it's a state right now because I just haven't, there's just no system to it. So let's make a system, but this is what it's looking like. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I just went to have a snack and listen to more of Beyonce's album, like, again, for the tenth time. It is so good. I think one of my favourite ones is the Beatles cover. I just love it. Anyway, the situation is, most things are hung up, but there's no system, like, category-wise. So that's what I'm going to do first. My tops across these two and I'm thinking <laughs> first of all I've realized I'm like a shirt addict obviously I've got my Lindsay shirts in like all the colors I've ever done them in and then I have like Susamusa shirts this I think was my first mm. this one and I should have a pale green Agnes B one but basically this was one of my first like 90 shirts that I ever got and I love it my Orson and Iris let me know if you guys want a wardrobe tour like I feel like it should be its whole own video this this set changed my life forever vintage kukai I, it like really got me into twin sets but yeah basically I'm thinking to organize it like t-shirts and stuff and like basics and then move through to like going out tops Okay, so I love these mesh tops. This is cop copin. I love them so much, but I never reached for them. It's kind of a shame. Going for I have this one as well, which says the year uh, says coming from two thousand. So cool. I kind of think I'm gonna wear black. I am I over these Morgan de Trois tops. I just don't really wear stuff that cropped anymore. I think I've got three colours. Of this. this is the good thing about my wardrobe. You can see what I've got. I mean, I need to try them on and see how cropped they are. The top that started it all. No, it's not the top that started it all, but one of my favorite vintage shop shop pieces. And I used to wear, I had a baby pink one and I must have sold it and then re bought this like years later. But it was my going out top. Like that was the top. There's so many photos of me, like fabric. In the second year of uni wearing it. I love this top. I should wear it soon. I'm actually going out for dinner tonight for Easter Sunday. So I could pull a cute look. I love this top. I got it in Berlin. Can't wait to style in summer. My slinky tops. Which we'll be restocking soon. And we're also going to do our slinky maxi top. Maxi dress in red because our red slinky tops are the most popular colorway, I would say. So it made sense to do the dress in red as well. I'm actually selling this tank hair top on my Depop. Do you guys know this one? It's called the Plumeria Puff. This little cardi, I love this color. Also, I'm really into little cute shirts. I'm going to be wearing those all summer. Part of sport. My slinky top. These I literally don't take off. I, I got this Morgan de Trois, like cami years ago and I wore it so much that I was like, I need to do a black cami top because it's literally the best, most useful thing. And we're actually currently working on trousers to go with it. I'm very excited and some little shorts but that's all I'm going to say because I've already said too much but I actually haven't done a video about work in a long time so let me know if you guys want to see that I got the um Pink Panthers merch I've been working a lot with Pink Panthers stylist and I was like please can you save me one of the tops because they're tank hair tops but with her like What's it saying? It Heaven knows Pink Panthers with her album name on it, and I was like, "That's just so iconic." She's been wearing my stuff so much, and actually, she wore our long brandy dresses on um, her album artwork for her like first ever album, which was so exciting. She looks amazing and everything. So I'm obsessed with ponchos. I kind of want to hang this up on a wall. I might do it over there. 
I actually sold out or almost sold out of these, but I found this fabric in this print. So our classic fabric, but in blue pinstripe. So we're gonna bring them back. So don't you guys worry. That's the basics done. I think I'm gonna leave them like that and not cram much more in. It's looking good. This is the progress check. It's definitely got a lot more work to be done. I haven't finished like organizing, but at least most of it's up. I just need to get more hangers for that. But this is how she's looking. I love, I love my shoes down there. And then I just need to do a lot of work on these shoes and like random things. But I'm very happy. I think I've done all that I can do right now, given the hanger situation, but Welcome to my wardrobe guys, and we're gonna be spending a lot of time in here. So I'm gonna go have a nap and I'll see you in a bit. After much deliberation and potentially inspired by listening to Beyonce all day, um, specifically her country album, this is the look that I'm wearing. It's a very rare opportunity that I'm going to a nice dinner and I'm driving and not getting the tube. So I'm making the most of it by wearing these heels that I would never be able to wear on the tube, but I love them so much. I've had them for ages and never worn them out. And then little um, suede trousers that I love. And it's so rare for like suede or leather trousers to fit me so well, because usually they like gape at the back. And then this poncho, because we were talking about ponchos earlier. So here's the outfit. I'm gonna put on my Uggs to drive, obviously. This is the result of me trying on a hundred different things, but thank you so much for watching this video as always. Another moving vlog will definitely be on its way because I have so much more left to do that I want to show you guys. So I'll see you in the next video, which may be a moving vlog, it may be something else. And sending you lots of love.